Hello everyone, my name is Mr. Chris, and I am here today to teach you guys how to make some origami. I have a crane, I got a little kind of bird guy. This one kind of perches, so you can have it perch like that. In order to do this, you'll need some square paper. So I have some origami paper here. It's very thin and light, that's an option. Or you can make your own square paper out of any kind of paper you have. I'm going to show you how to do that first here. So let me just clear some of this stuff off of my desk. Okay, for this, what we want to do is take that top side of the paper and fold it over so it's right up against the horizontal, the long edge of the paper. Once you got that nice and stuff, we're going to push it down and get a really nice crease on that. This part we're going to have a really good crease um, for our actual project. Now, you notice that there is the paper here. We're going to fold the bottom little corner up against that bit. I like to shake it around a bit to get it so it lays nice and flat. And then I'm going to get a really good crease there. Now we're going to fold it back and forth and keep creasing it. Doing a couple more creases. In fact, I don't crease quite enough in this video. You could do some more. I also like to use something hard like a pencil to really push down the crease just to make sure that we have a really solid bend. And the reason we want this solid bend is that the more that you fold the paper, the more that the paper actually starts to break down where you're folding it. And so now we're going to give it a tear. Oh. I made a little nick there and into it as well, but that's okay. It'll work perfectly fine for our purposes. Now you notice that I have a really nice clean cut except for that first little bit, and that is really important for our origami. So now we're going to start working on our birds. So we already have one of those two folds that we need. We need to fold the other direction. And so this is corner to corner folds. So that we're each time we're folding into a triangle. So now we have a square with two diagonal lines across. We're going to flip the paper over. And we're going to fold it into more of a hot dog style here. I always like to make sure that I get the ends really closely folded and then push up from the center and out. You really want to make sure when you're doing origami that you have really solid folds. Otherwise, it can come a little, uh, little funky when you come hang up your uh, end piece. Now that we have all these folds, I can just let the folds do their work and fold it together into this little square. Now, this little square, once you get your creases really nicely pressed in has two ends. It has uh, kind of the open fluffy end. Oh, let me get that back in the frame. And then it has a closed end. You want to take, hold your finger kind of on that open end, grab one of the corners that are adjacent, and you're going to fold that edge right up to the middle. Just like this. There we go. So now I have that. I'm going to do the same thing with the other side. Technically, this step is not required, but it will make the next step easier, and I'll show you why here in one second. I'm going to fold the top down a little bit, and then when I open it up, you notice that we have this triangle. We are going to flip that triangle inside out. So we're going to lift it up, and now you see why those creases were helping. So you could do this without that pre-fold if you want, but I find that it helps it get it really nice and solid the first time. We're going to do the same thing on the other end. Remember, fold the side up to the middle, get a good crease, same with the other side. At this point, you don't actually have to fold the top down, but I'm going to do it here anyway real quick. Get a little fold, open it up, and then I'm going to just turn that inside out. You notice here when I'm working on it, it didn't line up perfectly correct. That happens sometimes. Sometimes you just don't get a fold perfectly correct, and that's okay. The more you practice it, the more that it will come out right. Now we got two wingy bits and two leggy bits. Uh, we're going to start with the leggy bits, and we're actually going to turn them inside out. So you got to kind of open it up, 
and then push that end up. You don't want it to go all the way. You'll notice that down on the bottom it has a little bit of an angle left. As it's going, we're going to flip and do the other side as well here. You want to try and get the base of them to be almost at exactly the same angle. That way it will sit the most level on the table. There we go. Now we can turn this little bit inside out to make a little beak. Then we're just going to fold down the wings. When you fold the wings down, you don't necessarily want to go all the way down. You want to just go part way down. Leave a little bit of a bump, but then that is good. I like to make sure that my wings are the same by just lining them up when I'm folding them. Get some good folds. Give it a little fluff to make sure it stands up well. And there we go. You have a crane. Now I have one over here too that I made using origami paper. It has a pattern on it. Uh, I actually personally prefer the plain paper instead of the pattern paper, but it's what I had. Um, I have now the other kind of bird. Now, the nice thing about this is that it actually has all the same first steps up until that part with the leggy bit and the wingy bit. So I'm going to unfold a couple things here. Sorry that I'm doing it off camera. I lost track of where my camera was. Okay, here we go. We have... Those two wingy bits, two leggy bits. Uh, we can actually fold one of the wingy bits down. I did this here. Oftentimes I do that last. And then the other wingy bit makes the beak. So that's the head of the animal. On the little leggy bits that on the crane made the head and the tail, on this bird are going to make the legs. So you just fold it inside out like you did with the crane's head. And try to make sure that you get as close to a 90 degree angle or something like it as you can. And this one you really want to make sure you get those lined up because that will make it so it can stand. If you don't, it will not be able to stand up. I actually made my feet a little small here and that's why it stands so precariously. But that will work. Thank you. I'm Kids Quest Chris. Have a good one.